Good morning, Crowdstone 207. Good morning. We are just starting out on our latest adventure. This is the fifth annual Waterfall Adventure Tour. Uh, we went last year, had a wicked good time. And we're definitely doing her again this year. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven vehicles. Uh, only one isn't a Jeep. Big Ford truck. 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 or 18 people all together. Basically what it is, it's uh, if you didn't see our video from last year, which I recommended up there in the corner. It's primarily in the western Maine. Uh, checking out all the waterfalls. Some of them are a hike, some of them are right off the edge of the road. Pretty good time. This year we're going to be doing, I think, some different ones that we they haven't done in the past, which would be interesting. Perfect weather coming up. We got beautiful weather, 70s and 80s, and a little chilly at night, but we got electric blanket. But uh, going to be a killer weekend, so stay tuned for some wicked good footage. So we just stopped to get some gas and um, pretty cool Indian statue behind me there, right there. Um, and we'll be heading back on the road uh, for the first waterfall. So we'll see you then. Pretty excited to give this new rig to us a shakedown run. Other than going back and forth to work. It's the first time trying out this rig with new lift we put in it, new tent up on top. New mount for the fridge slider. Oh, all new setup. Coming from a JL to a JT. It's gonna be interesting, but looking forward to it. Definitely rides a lot better. Uh, we'll give it a oh, hang on. We'll give a rundown, a little walk around when we get to campsite later on today. I was jumping up and down. That was pretty hard. Yeah, we'll do a walk around. We get set up at the Ranger Lake State Park this afternoon. Show you what we've done, what not. You can leave a little comment down below and tell us what you think. Yeah, just wanted it back. <laughs> oh. I don't know if you can see how much this bridge is moving, but it's got a three ton weight limit on it. You can see the whole bridge dip as he's driving across it. That is crazy.
so we just left the wire bridge and we're coming into I think Kingfield now. Yep. And probably gonna get some lunch uh, here right off and uh, you think, there. Yeah, just down the road from where we're gonna stop for lunch. I think there's another waterfall. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. So we just had lunch and now we're heading off to uh, Reedsbrick Falls. If I remember, if you took the zigzag, and it's quite a hike, trail. so we'll be walking for a little while till we get there. We'll see yeah. you there. You can see how cold it is. <laughs> you like the water? You don't like the camera? No. <laughs> Smile. I need to say cheese. 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 I think it'd be worth a hike up in there. Yeah, I saw it in the fall when it was all that heavy rain. Just for a reason. Just wonder how close you can hit the kids. Right. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Say nothing. You can do it. Hey, good job. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So that was Tim Pond Falls that we just saw. Um, we're going to be going, it looks like a few more miles on this dusty road. And uh, then we'll be coming out, I believe, in the town of Rangeley. Uh, it's been an awesome day. It's about almost 80 degrees, which is beautiful weather up here in the state of Maine. And uh, once we hit Rangeley, um, we're going to be setting up camp uh, for the night. I don't think we have any more falls to look at today. Okay, so I was wrong. Um, we're heading towards uh, Big Falls. One more falls and then we'll head to camp. known as Big Falls.
It's been a long day, a good day. Great waterfalls that we've seen. Um, but now we're getting ready to sleep for the night and we'll see you tomorrow morning.